light bronzer. My brother, my brother, my brother bronzer. Hey guys, welcome back. So got a get ready with me video for y'all today and this is the finalized look that I ended up creating just through kind of playing around with some makeup and all affordable makeup, which is really, really fun. I like the way it turned out. It's kind of like a raspberry pinky sort of an eye look with a little pop of gold and a fun highlighter. Just, yeah, just a fun time having some fun playing with some makeup. So if you wanna get ready with me today using all affordable goodies, let's get to it. Okay, I already applied some moisturizer, so now I'm gonna jump in with some primers. This one is the CoverGirl Pore Minimizing Primer, and this is the Skin Smoothing. So I'm gonna use a skin smoothing all around my face, mainly like my forehead area and anywhere I have fine lines, which is mainly right in here in the forehead area. And so I'm down here to smooth all that out. This smells nice. It's kind of a sort of a, I don't know, like shower gel kind of a smell, like a soapy sort of a smell, but in a good way, like a fresh soapy smell. Okay, so I'm going to use the pore minimizing one on my nose and in my kind of T-zone, like really just kind of right in here where my pores are more on the visible side. This definitely reminds me of the Smashbox Pore Minimizing Primer. It's not as dry feeling as that one though, so if that one was too drying on your skin, you might try this one because it doesn't have that um, powdery sort of a feel on the skin like the Smashbox one does. For foundation, I'm gonna use my CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made Foundation in L40. And I'm gonna use a dirty brush <laughs> that I love, my It Cosmetics Heavenly Luxe Bye Bye Foundation Brush. This is number 22. This is one of my favorite foundations from the drugstore. It is so pretty on the skin. It just blends really well. Um, it is matte, but not like a drying matte, just a really pretty matte and long wearing. It just looks so pretty on the skin, blends in well, doesn't like sit on top of the skin. It's just a great foundation in my opinion. Really, I think most skin types could wear it if you just have super dry skin. You may have to, it might be, a, well, I don't know. You might have to super moisturize, but it might still work for you. I'm gonna use some of my Wet n Wild Eyeshadow Primer. This is one of the best ones I've ever tried. And it's like $5. For brows, I'm gonna use my CoverGirl Pomade. This is the, I don't know, it doesn't have a name on it. <laughs> it's the pomade in, I don't know that either. <laughs> because it just says 720, so it's the lightest shade. I love this stuff. Then I'm gonna do a little bit more shaping with this pencil. This is the Annabelle Skinny Brow Liner in Universal Taupe. I'm gonna go ahead and set my eyeshadow primer with a super old eyeshadow from L'Oreal. This is in Seashell. Now I'm gonna take my ColourPop Fortune palette and I'm gonna get some of, I don't know what I'm gonna do here, so we're just making this up and playing. I'm gonna get some of Wiser on a Cosette S175 brush. I was gonna say D220, but nope, that's the smaller one. Just putting this into my crease and transition area. I absolutely love ColourPop. Shadows. I love their Super Shock too, but I mean, their palettes are just so good, affordable. Their mattes are just super blendable without being difficult to use. Very, very little fallout. They're just a great formula. So if you've never tried the ColourPop palettes, oh my goodness, I love them. And it's hard to say which one's my favorite because I love so many of them. Um, I super love Yes Please if you love really warm palettes. I love the Fame palette if you love cool toned palettes. Um, the, is it the Perception palette? That one is awesome. If 
few like colorful kind of jewel tones. That one's great. But I mean, the formula of all of them is awesome. So now I think I have an idea of what I want to do, but we'll see how this turns out. We're just playing with makeup together. Okay, I'm going to get some of, is this Trove? Trove, yes. This one right here on, whoa, that's pigmented. A foiled eyeshadow brush from Makeup Geek. And I'm just going to put this all over my lid. I think I want to do kind of like a pinky burgundy sort of a smoky eye with a little bit of duochrome in the middle of my lid and then I think I want some gold on the inner corners of my eyes because that would kind of like tie in the colors of my shirt. Y'all have noticed that, that a lot that I match my makeup to my clothes. I do. I think it's just fun. Not all the time but I mean if I'm wearing something colorful then I think it's sometimes fun to bring in the colorful or if I have a colorful eye look, sometimes I like to kind of pair it with my outfit. So kind of goes back and forth of what comes first, either the makeup or the outfit. Just doing a little bit of quick blending. I'm gonna get some of Miser on a small detail brush from Real Techniques. Just getting that all over my brush. And now I'm gonna spray my brush to really make this super intense. Let me turn it so it's not going to spray me in my face. <laughs> and then I'm just going to apply it right into the center of my lid. Kind of build that up. I'm going to use my fingertip to just, oh, there we go. Yeah, I like that. Makes it way more intense using my fingertip. Before I do the gold, I'm going to apply some liner and mascara. I'm going to use my Annabelle Smooth Liner in Bronze and just line my upper lash line. I'm kind of trying to keep this really close to my lash line because I really want to be able to see that duochrome pop, especially right in the middle of my lid, but I do want to kind of like fill in my uh, eyelashes. I'm sure my eyes are doing all kinds of strange things right now trying to talk to you. Trying to do my liner, trying to look in this mirror. <laughs> For mascara on my upper lashes, I'm going to use my Maybelline Total Temptation. I think I'm also going to go ahead and clean up my under eyes. So I'm going to use my Wet n Wild Color Corrector in Peach. And I'm going to use my Beauty Junkies Angled Brush for this. What is it? Mini Angled Brush. Then I'm going to use my Rimmel Lasting Finish 25 Hour Breathable Lightweight Medium Coverage Concealer in 100 Fair. I don't really love these sorts of applicators because I never get the right amount out. And also it just seems a little bit yucky. You know what I mean? Just a little bit yucky. <laughs> I really try to use the least amount of concealer possible. So I just find, I don't know how people use so much concealer under their eyes. I mean, you can see, I'm still using quite a bit, but I just, I try to use the least amount possible because I find that the more that I use, if I get too much, it just looks cakey and heavy under my eyes. So I really just use as much as I feel like I need to get the coverage, but not a lot of extra. So building it up. Okay, I'm going to set my under eyes with my Maybelline Super Stay Better Skin Skin Transforming Powder in, I think this is in porcelain. Yes, in porcelain. And my e.l.f. blush brush. So, under eyes and also my T-zone. I'm going to use this powder. Then the rest of my face, I'm going to use my CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Powder in Classic Ivory. And I'm going to use my Real Techniques blush brush for this. I love both of these powders. This one is very hydrating, the CoverGirl one, so if you have dry skin, I think you'd really super love it. I love the Maybelline one because it's, I'd say that one's very um, smoothing on the skin. Like it just looks really pretty. So a lot of times I'll use that for touch-ups during the day because it just 
it blots without looking heavy. Okay, back to the eyes. So I'm gonna get a little combination of Nouveau and Oracle. Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna get that on my pencil brush and I'm gonna tap this on the back of my hand because I kinda wanna build this up. I don't want it over the top at first. And I wanna kinda have some playroom to be able to build this up. My camera cut me off in mid-sentence, but I was just saying that I'm putting on the inner corner and then bringing it over up onto my eyelid a little bit, just kind of right in that inner corner area. So gonna build this up. I am gonna use more of Oracle because that's kind of the lighter one, but I do want just a little bit of Nouveau just to kind of give that super golden-y look. But again, tapping it on the back of my hand and then just building that up. Then I think around the edges of that to soften it, I'm gonna get some of cream on that same pencil brush and just kind of apply that. I'm barely touching, just right on the edges to soften that golden line. For my lower lash line, I'm gonna get some of Wiser once again on a BH Cosmetics number 10 brush and just apply that. I also wanna incorporate some of that gold. So I'm gonna get some of Nouveau on that same brush. And I'm kinda of twirling my brush on the palette. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm kinda of twirling it so it'll sorta of make my brush a little bit pointy and get the product all around there. And then I'm gonna spray my brush because that'll help intensify it and also help it not go everywhere. For lower lash line mascara, I'm gonna use my CoverGirl Clump Crusher. And I went ahead and cleaned up my brow bone with a little bit of that L'Oreal shadow. Okay, now for bronzer, I'm gonna use my Physicians Formula Muru Muru Butter Bronzer in, this one is the Sun Kissed Bronzer. And I'm using my Sedona Lace FB05 brush for this. Just gonna kinda do a little bit of shaping on my face and also a little bit of warming up. I'm gonna soften my cheeks a little bit with my light bronzer, my butter, my bro my brother bronzer, my butter bronzer in light bronzer. This one's a little bit more of a cool tone, so it'll help kind of blend that um, sun kissed a little bit more because that one's very warm. So just wanted a little bit of this. Really don't feel like I need it there, but mainly on my cheeks. I just realized that I totally wanted to use this liner from Pixie. This is the Endless Silky Eye Pen in Matte Mulberry. I forgot that would have worked really well. Well, I love these liners, P.S. I'm gonna go old school for blush. I'm gonna use one of my Jordana blushes. I love these, but I haven't used them in a while. This is the Blush Powder in Sunlit Bronze. These are so inexpensive and just awesome. For highlighter, I think this one will be really fun. This is the Physicians Formula Muru Muru Butter Highlighter. And I think I'm just gonna apply this with my fingertip right onto my cheekbone. I mean, what? Bring it around the sides of my temple. It's a really pretty duochrome -y, purpley pink sort of a highlighter. It's really cool. Then for lips, I'm gonna start with a little bit of shaping with my Jordana Easy Liner for Lips in Rock and Rose. So I'm not really filling in my lips, I'm more just kind of shaping them, especially my top lip. Then I'm gonna use this ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip in On Board. Really fun. Okay, scratch that. I think it's pretty, but I wanna use something else. So I think instead I'm gonna use Tawny. And then I'm gonna use a ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip in Here's To You. Very close, but this one just has a slightly pinkier tone to it. All right guys, so here is the finished look. 
So I hope that you really enjoyed getting ready with me today. Please give this video a thumbs up if you did. Let me know down below what you've been loving playing with lately. I would love to know that. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!